Welcome back you beautiful people, we are Gemma and Campbell and in this week's video we are taking you to some of the most beautiful sights on the Isle of Skye. It has been an incredible month here on the Isle of Skye for us, full of beautiful sights, truly hidden gems, stunning sunsets and plenty of good old Scottish weather tantrums. But it will soon be time for us to wave goodbye to the Misty Isle and head on to our next destination. So to make the most of our final week on the Isle of Skye, we set our sights on some of the best activities that the island has to offer, such as a swim beneath the mountains of the Coolins, Believe it or not, there's usually a mountain behind me there. Visiting a local distillery and hiking the formidable peaks of Skye's intimidating sky Line, which, as you can imagine, doesn't entirely go to plan. I'm not gonna lie, oh God. it's not a good sign. Nevertheless, this has been an awesome adventure and it will be one that we will never forget, filled with highs, lows and plenty of good food. We also have a surprise announcement for all of you with some incredibly exciting plans for our other business, Destination Earth Guides, so stick around till the end to hear all about that. Which is, drum roll please. If you've enjoyed our Sky series or if you're new around here and want to see where we are off to next, then make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out, as we bring you on the road for some van life reality in Scotland. So good morning guys, the sun is shining, we're on the Isle of Skye and it's going to be a good day. I absolutely loved this park up last night. I mean like just how stunning is that view? One problem with it though, we got woken up about 6 o'clock this morning by all you noisy guys and gals. I know, I see you. They're all coming over to say good morning as well. What do you think of our noisy neighbours babe? Very cute, but oh my goodness. It's so funny as well, they're like proper, I opened the blind and they were like looking at me like they were standing there looking at the van. I know, they were starting to walk over to me they when I went out. Uh, I'm guessing they were thinking I was bringing them breakfast. <laughs> so we've got a lot of stuff planned for today, mainly because it's our first actually blue sky day we've had in probably about two weeks. It's been like non-stop rain on the Isle of Skye, so we're definitely going to need to try and make the most of it. First things first however, it's time for our coffee. Oh, it must be breakfast time for the sheep as well. A van just drove past and they all started chasing after it. <laughs> I love the van. I think they're so funny. Hi guys, have a good day. I am so excited, so excited. Is that because you're the one doing the whiskey tasting? It is indeed. I'm excited because I don't need to stress out about drinking whiskey because I don't, really don't like it. Oh, uh, not to worry babe, we'll get you some samples to take home, will you? Oh great, so you can drink them? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's Easter Sunday, I would always say that a chocolate tasting session would be better. Let us know what you'd prefer guys in the comments. <laughs> chocolate tasting or whiskey tasting? Yeah, so our next stop is the Tora Vague Distillery. No, a trip to the islands is complete without a trip to a distillery, is it? That's true. Come on, you've got to do it. We've not actually been to one. When was the last time we did? One. Was it five? Right? Was it? Surely not. Wow, Kingsbarn Distillery, really good one. This is Toraveg. I'm very excited. It's down on the Sleep Peninsula on the Isle of Skye, and yeah, we're gonna go for a one-hour tour and a tasting session. Hi there. Right, so when we arrive, we actually get a £5 off voucher off of all those skis. What one am I going to get? The tour began with an introduction to the distillery and the whiskey making process, as well as the aromas that are unique to Toravig whiskey, before we had a fascinating tour of the distillery itself. As this is an active distillery, we couldn't film inside the still rooms, so instead let's cut straight to the good part, the tasting session, yeah, very smoky. and of course a souvenir to take away with us. Well that was brilliant. Got myself a little bottle and you get a £5 off voucher so it was only 45 quid for the bottle. Really nice distillery though, we got told all about the history and about how it's quite actually a new distillery. It was only opened about seven years ago so yeah there's not a lot of history on it but it's, it's going to be a good one I can tell. The plans now however, the castle looks like it's actually clearing up, the weather's getting better so I reckon we're going to go and try and check that out. <laughs> We've met these friendly dogs when we're coming down this path. Hello. Have we come the wrong way Jim? I think we have. Hello. Oh, the friendliest dogs in the world though. Are you going to tell us how to get to the castle? Oh. Are you going to tell us how to get to the castle? Thank you. 
And you go home. How did I go? Yeah, and go you go home. home. Please don't follow us. It's not that way then. Maybe this way? What a lovely Highland welcome. So it's during the tour we actually got told the name of this. I believe it's called like Knot Castle or Knock Castle. And it's basically a castle that dates back to the 14th century or 15th century. And it used to be owned by the McLeods and the McDonalds, which is the two clans that are apparently the big hitters on the Isle of Skye. They were the two gangs that you wanted to be part of. And it just kind of passed between the two when they were fighting all the time. I just love the history on the Isle of Skye, man. It's literally everywhere. And there she is. Oh, sugar. I don't know, I think we maybe need to like find some stepping stones. Well, Gemma's come dressed for the occasion, as always. <laughs> Converse. Usual. I've got my boots on, Gemma's got cons. Right, come on. I thought we were going whiskey tasting, not stomping around rivers. Maybe down there, there'll be some stepping stones. Let's try it. All right, I'm not gonna lie, babe, it doesn't look as if it gets any shallower down here. So, am I taking my tights off? <laughs> yeah, we might need to do a wade then. Goodness. How much do you want to see this castle? I don't know, not enough to get soggy feet, I don't think. <laughs> so yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the view of the castle. We're gonna go back to the van and get some lunch. So what's on the menu? Well, the menu for today, we've got some super noodles in the cupboard that's been sitting there for ages. We've got peppers in the fridge to use up. And very exciting, we found these at a shop we weren't expecting them to find in. Oh, yes. Tempe. I've not seen this in ages. I know, we have been looking for it, haven't we? Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for it. It's in a tin, gonna fry it up, chop it up, and then just serve it up like a kind of meagerang thing. It's gonna be good. Uh, I think we might have a problem, babe. Yeah, we've only got one packet of noodles. So what I'm actually going to cook instead is probably one of my favourite van life meals, if not my favourite meal of all time, as it's super simple and it is just so tasty. You'll definitely have heard me talk about it before if you're a regular around here, but it's my own take on like a nasi garang. So in here, we've got some soy sauce, toasted sesame oil, Chinese five spice, and I usually just fry it all together with some chilli oil, pepper, onion, garlic, rice, and it is delicious. So tasty, so much flavour, and so easy. However, it's not easy when I just did that to my clean cooker. I only just went and bloody cleaned it for this camera. What's the point? I give up. To be honest though, after all of this, I'm feeling in the mood for a bit of a swim. What do you think, babe? Yep, time to clear the old head. We have got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. A lot of big work decisions and things. And yeah, to be honest, it's been quite overwhelming. Like we don't show a lot of that on here because it's quite, quite boring, but to be a bit real, we have got a lot going on. And yeah, I think it's time to like clear the head and just get in that cold water. It always feels good. As much as I'm a bit nervous about it now, it always feels good. It always makes us feel better fresh headed to come back and get what we need done. And just so as it happens, I know just the spot that we can do it at. Ready? Oh, Good answer. Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, so here it is. It's like Akin Waterfalls. Really beautiful location. Believe it or not, there's usually a mountain behind me there. There's nothing today. It's literally the mistiest day yet. I have to say though, these robes that we've got now are an absolute game changer for cold water swimming. I'm already looking forward to putting this back on. You know, a bucket list experience when people come to Sky is generally going to see the fairy pools. And I do agree, they are absolutely beautiful, but there are so many places on the Isle of Skye that are very similar. And I think this spot is one of them. There's just loads of little waterfalls up the glen and loads of little swimming holes as well. Well done, baby. Thank you for coming on the adventure. I can't feel my giblets. I think it's time to go. <laughs> Parked up just up the road from our usual spot. Someone had already nabbed that one. But luckily, our Instagakin is actually quite a lot of spots. Well sloped to the side, boob. Yeah. And that is our view. It always reminds you of why they call it the Misty Isle. Because I can't see a thing. <sighs> That baby is how you level a van. Come check this out. Come check this out. Look at that. All my builders out there, eh? That is 
spirit level porn right there. I tell you, I've been so used to living the life of a squint. <laughs> I, honestly, I felt more flat when I was squint than yeah. I do now. I think you've got wonky legs, babe. I think so. One leg longer than the other. Too much haggis. All right, van's all set up. I reckon we're just gonna buckle in for the night and relax because it is miserable out there. Let's do this. So it's about 5 a.m. now. We had a little bit of a lie in, but it's time to get on the hill. It's still pitch black out here, hence why I'm having to use a torch to actually talk to you guys. But I can just see the uh, the sun starting to crest over the horizon. Sunrise is about an hour, so we'll give you guys an update when it gets a little bit lighter. Well, it's nice that we can finally see again, and we've got a beautiful view of the mountains surrounding us. This is where we're going up first. And we've still got quite a bit to go, we've been going for about an hour and a half but then we're going to make our way across and hit two other peaks over here as well. It's a little bit windy and it's still quite cold as well actually so we just need to keep pushing on and hopefully we'll get there soon. Well, I think we found the path up. Yeah, I think the plan is before we tackle this monster we're going to settle in, we've got a flask of hot water have another wee cup of coffee, maybe a bite to eat, and then it's just the final slog up to the top. And that is going to be one hell of a challenge, I think. Honestly, sitting here with a nice hot drink in me, I could easily just go back to the van. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm looking up at that hill now and thinking that looks like the path into Mordor. It looks insane. I don't know how we're gonna get off it, man. But that is our path to the top. Same as anything, I guess. If it's difficult, it's gonna be worth it. We began the most crucial part of the climb, with the path scattering through loose scree and boulder fields, growing ever steeper and more treacherous as we climbed into the heart of the Cullen mountain range. It was a tough climb, requiring us to scramble on all fours at times with a perilous drop behind us, but the view was absolutely incredible. Oh, it's so close now, baby. I can see the rock. That is just like a little sample of the view. This is incredible, man. Oh my, oh wow. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. It's not a good sign. Oh my god. Holy goodness. shit. Surely that is not what we are going down. I mean, there's no other way. Wow. I was not expecting that. Scaling the side of the mountain, we had found ourselves in a small V-shaped cliff in a knife-like ridge of the Cullen mountain range. It was a steep drop on the other side and there was no way out other than scaling the vertical cliffs on either side or turning back and scrambling down the path we came up. So we're using an app called All Trails and with a backup map and compass as well but this has been really good because it basically tracks your GPS location and then you can see you're on the right track. So let me just double check that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure because I don't know how we're getting down that. We'll work this out. We can always go back down that way. Like, yeah. It sucked, but we just climbed down backwards. <laughs> oh man. I think this is a good example of how you can get caught out on the hills, basically. Like, you can really think that you know where you're going and you can get caught out. Yeah, we've been sitting here for about 10 minutes now, and I think we're just gonna need to make the tough decision and actually just kind of head back down the way we came. I would love to have smashed all three Monroes, but it's obviously just not in my skill set just yet. If you're not feeling safe, don't do it because if we climb up higher, that's just more distance that someone needs to rescue us from if we kind of get back down. So it's going to be a bum slide back down, babe. I know the one thing that we actually said climbing up this is thank goodness I don't need to climb down this way because <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. It's better than going down that side. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I've seen the alternative. Yeah. <laughs> so the mountain had defeated us but we weren't going to let it ruin the last day of our trip. As the saying goes, it's the journey and not the destination, and this hike showed us a whole new side to the Isle of Skye that we had never seen before. It also reinforced an important lesson for us, which is that as important as it is to push yourself out of your comfort zone, it is just as important to know where your limits lie. 
Besides, we had one more stop in mind before we waved goodbye to the Misty Isle, involving a secluded spot and a very cold duck in the fresh spring water. Oh, it's lovely! <laughs> I tell you, when the sun's shining in Scotland, it just doesn't get any more beautiful than that. Like, it's incredible. It's freezing cold, but I feel alive now. It's so good. How is that, babe? Oh, I feel so good. I mean, considering the alarm went off at half past four, it's now 11 o'clock. I feel amazing. It's just such a good way to start the day now. I feel buzzing. And so guys, that brings us nicely onto our big important announcement, which is, drum roll please, we're writing another book! That's right, we're writing a book on Destination Sky. You probably guessed that actually from the amount of time we've spent yeah. up here. Yeah, November is going to be when it's published, but we are opening up to pre-orders now. So if you are interested, then you can pre-order the book ready for being published in November. Right now, it's going to be the cheapest that you will be able to buy it for the next few years. Yep. That is the pre-order price, and that will be... 17 99 so that's the cheapest you're going to get it, like Gemma said, for the next foreseeable future. And for the first 100 pre-orders, we're going to be doing signed copies of every single book. So make sure you get your pre-orders in quick if you want to get a signed copy. And also, if you do order your pre-orders, you'll just be helping to support us actually write the book. We've got a busy few months ahead of us, just getting everything written, getting everything finalised, and producing the best book on the market because that is our goal and yeah I'm very excited for it me too so yeah thanks for watching guys if you do want to see more hit the subscribe button we've got another big exciting announcement next week so you don't want to miss that one and we'll see you again in the next one see ya